One of the interesting things is the contribution that the Catholic Church and Catholic women's suffrage organisations made to women getting the vote. Uh, this is particularly obvious in places like Latin America, um, which were very significantly Catholic, and also very male, very uh, machismo-orientated um, societies. And one might have thought it was unlikely that women would be making um, stri strides towards getting the vote there, but a place like Ecuador um, became the first country to, for, for women to get the vote in Latin America, and, and, the, and, and then many others uh, spread through in the, in the interwar periods. And the interesting thing from that point of view is that women were arguing from not that they wanted to get into politics and change everything, but that they wanted politics to be more inclusive of women's issues, uh, to, to uh, attend more to maternity, and that they, women, represented the nation. They were the true heart of the nation. And so it was a kind of maternalistic feminism that was being, uh, being promoted in Latin America, and which meant that so many um, uh, uh, Latin American countries uh, gave women the vote. And it's also in Latin America where, where um, Eva Peron, who was of course a radio soap opera actress, succeeded in gaining the votes, um, for, votes for women, uh, much to the disgust of the rather staid suffragist organisations who said, well, we've been arguing for this for a long time. Yes, but it was she who, who achieved it, and she achieved it um, by working with her, her, her husband, working with, with, with the president, Peron, and uh, with uh, uh, saying that his political party, which was very much his personal party, um, would gain from these women's votes because they respected um, Eva Peron so much. And so that, that, that was the way that that one worked. In general, um, there was a sympathy from the Pope for women to get the vote uh, because it was felt that, um, it was finally felt that, that, that um, women's votes would encourage Catholic values, church going, the family, um, and that, that women in public life would, would, would help this, would actually help the Catholic Church and, and help things that the Catholic Church valued. And interestingly, in Republican countries like um, France and Italy, they were very slow to give women the vote. Um, it's uh, after the Second World War before France and Italy, um, before women in France and, and, and Italy get the vote. And the reason for that was because the people who had power were Republican liberals, generally left-leaning men, who felt if women have the vote, they're all going to vote for Catholic candidates and will end up with a permanently conservative country. So that, that was the sort of fear. So the left, which one normally associates, associates um, with, with, with um, women's suffrage and, 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 and with, with greater liberalism, greater freedom for, 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 for people, was, was actually arguing against women's suffrage in, the, in those countries because it was believed that it would uh, uh, help, help Catholic conservatism.